Okay, today I'm going to be changing out the rear spoiler for a 2013 Honda Accord Coupe. Um, this procedure will be the same thing for the 2013 and the 2014 model. Um, the piece that I'm going to be switch swapping out is this piece right here with the third brake light. Um, I'm going to purchase the rear deck spoiler that is the same package for the uh, HFP package. So inside the box is the spoiler and then the side of the box. Um, the first thing you do is open your trunk, all right, and the liner. The liner is held on by these clips. Um, these are reusable. It looks like that. It looks like this. Um, it's held all the way around the car. Easiest way to remove this would be to pull this down a little bit and you see where it is like the hole um, I'm gonna get a pry tool like this and just wedge it in between and just pull it down and so this comes down like so okay okay I'm removing the trunk liner from this side I'm just gonna get a wedge tool like this wedge it in between the two and just pry it out, wedge it in between and you should be able to pry this out. And then there's a handle right here so you just have to push towards the back and it comes off. A 8mm bolt on each side, there's one on that side and there's another one on this side. So remove that one and that one. Okay, I'm just going to take a ratchet with the 8mm and then release this. Here's a nut that you're removing. Again, it's a 8mm nut, so remove that on both sides of some sort. Um, you cannot use a screwdriver for this. And you're going to close your lid after you remove the 8mm bolt. Close the lid. Okay. And um, what we're going to do is wrap a microfiber towel around the end so you're not scratching anything like so and pry it in between down here and work your way all the way around there's going to be 11 clips that you're going to be releasing so work all the way around like this until you get all the clips okay to after you have a majority of the clips uh, released using a pry tool you'll notice that it won't come off all the way the reason being is it's held on by these clips right here there's one here one here and the exact same ones there's two behind here and there's another two behind in here and here I'm going to show you where the picture is you see there's two right there and go through this little opening if you look in there there's two right there now you have to release those this is pretty simple because it's really easy to um, you know access and all you have to do is just squeeze them squeeze the top and squeeze the bottom and push it out and it'll pop out and same thing with this now, in theory, you have to do the same thing for those ones that's just in there. Um, I tried to do it from the top, tried to push it from the top, but it wouldn't work. And so the best way that I saw was put my finger down through here and then reach it up there and then push it like one way and then push the other way. Um, be careful when you, these are really sharp. Um, I cut my finger a few places trying to do this, so just be careful about that. But that's the only problem that I can see from installing this. I managed to get my finger and unclip them and to remove this, but after I removed it, see there's two up here, I was able to just slide the whole unit towards, the, uh, towards that way I believe, and then you know slide it off of this. These do not, you cannot pop Once them Once the clips open. are released, you're able to take this apart. So like so, these are all the clips. Okay. Um, right here, you undo this fastener right here. You just push it and it comes out. Okay. And you see this little um, little zip tie holder right here, you're going to cut this, just the zip tie, not the wire.
Now there's one more plug right here that you need to release. Just push it from the back and pull down. Okay, here it is. This is what's removed. These were the clips that I was holding it in. Okay, it goes all the way around. Um, we're gonna have to remove this third brake light and transfer it over to the new um, boiler. So. Okay, once we have that piece, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be transferring this piece to the new spoiler. And so keep this and put this away for now. I'm gonna take this and transfer it back into the slot. So you just put it where the holes are, you know, there's three holes that goes then in. Then put your screws back on. Now we're going to have to remove the old um, clip that's left on the, on the trunk. Um, in order to release this, what you need to do is, you see, there's a two like right here, right here where these great things are. Just push that tab inwards like this, and it'll pop out, and then push that tab, and then push it up. Okay, so I'm going to push one end and lift it. Okay, I'm gonna push the other end and lift it out, and so this comes out like that. Okay, now look in your hardware bag, and there'll be new clips. So you just wanna um, put them in your new um, spoiler. Just um, use your old spoiler as a reference where the new one should go, and so put them all back into where the original spots. And um, you just have to slide them in and then they'll click into place. Uh, make sure that you put the 8 millimeter. see how there's like that bolt right here? So it needs to go in here. Um, these clips just goes in here. Um, in the middle, there's going to be like this. So this original one's going to be here, so I just put one here. And in the corners are going to be those up there, so you want to put okay, them down now, there. Okay, um, now we're going to connect our wire harness back into the slot. There's a clip right here, um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's a clip where this white part goes to. After you push everything in, I'm going to be putting in the two 8mm bolts back in. Saw the two bolts. Okay, now just reinstall your trunk liner. And I'll just put it against making sure you know the handle goes through and where all the holes are. And get your clip and just clip them in. That's it. That completes your installation of the rear deck spoiler on a 2013-2014 Honda Core Coupe. So here is some picture for you so that you can see. So that's insulation. There's no gap around. Just need to clean it up a little bit.